Right, I want to show you guys the first system you should build if you are a little timid about stuff or you want to do it by yourself. This one right here has been my first prototype that I ever built. Right simple and about as cheap as you can get it and it's as good as any other system. It just doesn't have any bells and whistles but it does the same exact thing. I still, in my home, I'm using this model. I just added a few features to it over the years, right? So, it works beautifully. First of all, we talked about the coil, right? You need your trusty propane bottle, and then you use that side right here, because the coil, and you wrap them around, you take them out, and then my joke is always, wrap the four corners, 95 wraps, because we just watched the formula mass, right? Then you tape it nice and tight after that so it's nice and solid. And then you have to sand, burn, and sand the tip of it so you expose the wire because this gold stuff right here is insulation. So you gotta remove that so you can terminate it. And then when you made yourself a bunch of coils, you place them on your mat like we showed you, you tape them up, then you make one series on one side, one series on the other, then you parallel those two together and they come back to your controller right here. Now, this resistor is air-cooled, okay? It's 200 watt and it's 4 ohms. Remember in the calculation, the resistor is usually faced for about 50 watts, right? So this is more than well equipped to remove all the heat, no problem. Just a little mini project box and it's attached with a plug-in that goes into the wall that you plug it into your plug. The ZK PP2K, you go on Amazon, you can find it. Um, shop around, if you get it from China, you'll have to wait for the right boat to come along. It might take six weeks to get it. You might be able to get it locally, for usually about twice the price. But the most expensive I've seen those at was about 25 bucks. The cheapest about 14. Now I have a bunch here, so they make four different models. They got the ZK PP1K, which is blue. Then they got the ZK PP2K, which is green. And then they also sell the ZK PP1 and the ZK PP2, which is just the electronic boards inside without the case. You want the one with the case. So you want the ZK PP2K. Google that up. You'll find it simple as hell. The reason why you want the two, not the one, is because this one is rated to run up to 8 amps of juice through it. A member of calculation, we never went over 6. So this thing is more than well equipped to deal with everything. So you don't need any other components. That's why it's so simple. It also makes a beautiful square wave uh, below 300 hertz. Beautiful. Okay, now I'll open that up. You'll see there's nothing to it. In this case, I used a computer power supply, like a laptop. And the mat goes out to the resistor and comes back in. And then the power goes here and it goes out. I used to put a, a diode right here because I thought um, I wanted to protect the controller. You don't need the diode. It's got one built in and it's proven to be strong enough to do everything it needs to do. Okay, if you guys look back at my first couple of videos, it explains how to wire this whole thing. This is all you need right there box of any kind, you put your power supply in it, you got your resistor, you got your ZKPP2K, and close it up and Bob's your uncle. Everything is good.